Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. We'll learn how to prepare stock register when carriage inwards are given in the question. Carriage inward means transport charges incurred by the manufacturer for bringing the materials from market to factory place. As these are related to materials, we are adding these carriage inward amount to the value of material so that we can come to perfect amount of material cost. So if it is given in the question, carriage inwards are required to be added to the material price or material cost. Messrs. Desa and Company, a trader of plastic toys, had 12,000 toys valued at rupees 3 per toy. This is the information of opening stock. His purchases and sales during first 6 months ending 31st December 2013 were as under. On 22nd July 2013, there is a sale of 5000 toys at the rate of 20 each. So this will be recorded as issue. On 23rd of July 2013, he purchased 10,000 toys at the rate of 15 each. So this will be recorded as receipt. On 25th October 2013, there is sale of 8,000 toys at the rate of 24 each. This will be recorded as issue. On 26th October, there is again purchase 12,000 toys at the rate of 18 each. On 31st December, there is a sale of 13,000 units at the rate of 29 each. So this will be issue. You are required to ascertain cost of stock on hand on 31st of December 2013. That means we are required to calculate the value of closing stock under each of the following methods. One FIFO method and second is weighted average method. First we will be solving as per FIFO method. Here they have given opening balance of toys 12,000 toys valued at rupees 3 per toy. In date column, we are putting the date 2013. January 1st. We are required to record opening balance. In quantity column, we are writing units 12,000 toys. Rate is given rupees 3 per toy. So amount is 36,000. On 22nd July, there is a sale of 5,000 toys at the rate of 20 each. Number of units 5000, rate we have to take same 3 rupees, so issue value of stock is 15,000, we were having opening balance of 12,000 of which 5000 is issued, so balance quantity is 
सेवन थाउजेंड टॉयज एट द रेट ऑफ थ्री इट विल बी रुपीज ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ जुलाई देर इज परचेस ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड टॉयज एट द रेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन नाउ हियर इन ब्रैकेट डे हाउस गिवन कैवरेज इनवर्ट्स रुपीज वन थाउजेंड सो इफ यू परचेस टेन थाउजेंड टॉयज एट द रेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन द वैल्यू ऑफ परचेस बिकम्स वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रिलेटिंग टू दिस परचेस देर इज कैरेज इन वर्ड ऑफ रुपीज वन थाउजेंड सो एज अ प्रिंसिपल वी आर रिक्वायर टू एड कैरेज कॉस्ट to purchase cost so if we add rupees 1000 it becomes 1,000. So July 23rd, total number of purchase of units ten thousand units. Purchase cost total we have calculated. One lakh fifty one thousand. Now we'll be calculating per unit by dividing one lakh fifty one thousand number of units, ten thousand units. So it comes to fifteen rupees ten paise. Now we'll be recording closing stock. we are having old stock 7000 units that will be recorded first at the rate of rupees 3 21000 now we'll be adding fresh purchase 10000 units rate Fifteen rupees ten paise. And the value one lakh fifty one thousand. So we have now two stocks: seven thousand units and ten thousand units. On twenty fifth of October. there is sale of 8000 units so first we are required to record date 25th of october there is sale of 8000 units so quantity we have to put 8000 now here oldest stock is 7000 units that will be issued first rate is rupees 3 total issue is 8000 units so from this 10000 units we are required to take required 1000 units At the rate of rupees fifteen point ten, so it will be rupees fifteen thousand one hundred. Now we are required to record closing balance. Seven thousand units totally issued. 
out of 10,000 units, 1,000 units are issued. So balance units are 9,000 at the rate of rupees 15.10. So now closing stock is 1,35,900. October 26, there is purchase of 12,000 toys at the rate of 18 each. So purchase cost becomes 2,16,000. Here they have given carriage inwards rupees 1200. It will be added to this. So total material cost becomes 217,200. Purchase units are entered in quantity column. Value 2,17,200 including carriage inwards recorded in rupees column. Now we can find out per unit. It is 18 rupees 10 paise. Now we will be recording closing stock. We have 9,000 units. At the rate of 15 rupees 10 paise value 1,35,900. Fresh purchase will be added here now. 12,000 units. Rate 18 rupees 10 paise value. 2,17,200. So we have now two different stocks, 9,000 units and 12,000 units. On 31st December, there is a sale of 13,000 units at the rate of 29 each. Sale units are given 13,000. So first we will have to pick up from oldest stock that is 9000 units at the rate of 15.10 value 1,35,900 value 1,35,900 total sold units are 13,000 of which we have used 9,000 from the oldest stock. Balance we will take from these 12,000 units. 13,000 minus 9,000. So we will require additional 4,000 units. That will be taken from the second stock. Rate 72,400. Now we'll be recording closing balance. Out of 12,000, 4,000 units are issued. So balance units are 8,000 units. Value 18 rupees 10 paise per unit. So it comes to 1,44,800. Thus, closing stock as per FIFO method One lakh forty four thousand eight hundred 
having units 8000. This we have solved as per FIFO method. In question, they have said to solve as per FIFO and weighted average. So next we will be solving the same question as per weighted average method. Under weighted average cost, we cannot have old stock and new stock because the stock gets merged. This method is suitable in case of products like water, chemicals, oil, where it is stored in big drum or any other container where old stock and new stock gets mixed. So when we are issuing, it becomes impossible to identify the old stock and new stock. There we cannot have method of FIFO, there we make use of what? Weighted average cost. Now the same question will be solving as per weighted average cost method. Opening stock 12,000 toys at the rate of rupees 3 per toy. Twelve thousand toy. Each toy is having price three rupees. So value becomes rupees thirty six thousand. On twenty second July, there is sale of five thousand toys at the rate of twenty each. So there is issue of five thousand units. Rate applicable to opening balance rupees three, so it will be fifteen thousand. Now balance units twelve thousand minus five thousand seven thousand at the rate of rupees three twenty one thousand. On 23rd July, there is purchase of 10,000 toys at the rate of 15. We have done calculation. Value is 1,50,000. Carriage inwards 1,000 added. It becomes 1,51,000. Twenty-third July, quantity. Ten thousand units total amount one lakh fifty one thousand now we have to record closing stock opening balance seven thousand units we have to add receipt ten thousand units So total units are 17,000 units. Opening stock value 21,000. Fresh purchase is 1,51,000. These are added. So weighted average cost of 17,000 units is now rupees 1,72,000. On 25th October, there is a sale of 8,000 units. Now we are required to determine the rate applicable. Out of these 17,000, we are going to issue 8,000 units. Opening balance rate is rupees 3 and the fresh purchase which we have made on 23rd of July per unit cost is rupees 15.10. So we are required to here take average of this. So we are issuing 8000 units. We are required to determine 
the rate at which it is issued we are having stock 17000 units valued at 172000 so to find rate we'll divide 172000 by 17000 so it comes rupees 10.12 paise so it will be recorded here in per unit column so the value of issue will be rupees 80960 we were having 17000 units of which we have issued 8000 so 17000 minus 8000 balance units are now 9000 units we are required to fix the value it will be 91080 october 26th there is purchase of 12000 units at the rate of 18 each calculation shows 2,16,000 carriage inwards 1,200 if we add purchase cost becomes 2,17,200 to get per unit we have to divide 2,17,200 by 12,000 units it is 18 rupees 10 paise we are having stock 9000 to this will be adding units 12000 so it will be 21000 units stock value was 91080 to this will be adding 2 lakh 17200 It is 3,8,280. On 31st December, there is a sale of 13,000 units. We are required to fix now per unit cost 3,8,280 divided by 21,000. It comes rupees 14.68 multiplied by 13,000 units. It is 1,90,840 units. Out of 21,000 units, 13,000 units are sold. So balance is 8,000 units. Its value will be 1,17,440. So we have recorded all information relating to the question. We can now record closing stock value as per weighted average cost. It is 1,17,440. So in this question, we have learned how to record carriage inwards when it is given in the question. While preparing stock ledger, we are required to add carriage inwards to the value of purchase cost of material. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.